Hello there. On this video, I will be showing you how to use instant header presses. And it's very easy and very convenient to use in making cool headers for website, Facebook covers, Twitters, and etc. Now, as what you can see here, we have two sets of action trays. The options on the left panel allow you to add different elements and graphics to your canvas, while on the other hand, the actions on the right panel will allow you to edit and customize these elements and graphics. Now, this rectangular area right here is our canvas. You can edit its dimensions right here, where you can see the 900 and 200. By the way, this is a width by height dimension. So, so by default, we have a 900 by 200 pixel canvas. Just double click on it and type in the, the size of the header you're going to make. Okay, hit enter and it will automatically change like that. Now let's start adding stuff to our blank canvas and let's start with the text option. You can add text through add title, change its font by this type option right here, choose any font that you like. And also you can change the size by moving this knob to the left or to the right to adjust the text size. You can also adjust the text size through clicking here and dragging it like that. Now, to edit the text, just double click on it and type in anything that you want to. Okay, so that's it. To change the font color, just click on the text and then choose color from the, from the right panel. And then choose any color that you want. You can also highlight the text you'd want to choose the color for and choose a color for it, that's possible. Okay, so there you have it. Now, that's basically how you play with the text and the fonts and everything with the words. Now let's go to the graphics options. Now in instant header presence, you will be able to add about three types of graphics. So these, the first one are the graphics, the shapes, and you can also upload your own images. As for the graphics, these are default images that we have for you. You can just click on anything that you like and position it or rotate it however you'd want to. Now, when, when you are adding elements to your canvas, you can either choose to send them backward or bring them forward through these two buttons right here. You can also choose to delete them by clicking this button, delete. It's, it's very easy like that. Now I'm going to add a... social media images for fun. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. and Facebook. Alright. Now, if you have a mistake like this, you can just choose to undo or redo. It's a very good button. These are very good buttons. Everyone loves the undo and the redo buttons like that. You know? Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now, Let's go to our shapes. Okay, so shapes, when you click on them, you will see that shape appear in the black form and in a smaller size. You can choose to edit that color of the shape by clicking on the color and choosing any color. And you can resize that to however you'd want to. I want this to stretch across the page and be at the back and with a gray color. All right, here I have it. Now, you can also choose to upload your own images and put them in your canvas. So for that, just go to graphics and upload image. Choose the image you would like to upload, wait for it to finish uploading, and then resize that and just position that however you'd want to on your image. Okay, so there, there you have it. That's basically how you play with your shapes and your graphics.
Now, let's go to the effects. The effects options allows you to edit your headers overall look by allowing you to edit your background and adding some lighting effects. So you basically have two categories right here, the, the light and the pattern. So in the pattern styles, we provide you a lot of options for your background. The first one is an option to set your background to transparent. The second one is a customizable gradient background. What you just have to do is click on it, click on your background and choose a color for your gradient. Okay. So we also have a lot of patterns for you to choose from that overlays your gradient background. So you can just click that to see how that would work on your image. Some few more here. Okay, so now that you can see how is that working, let's go to our lights effects. So there are three types of light effects, the smooth, the sunlight, and the bevel. I'm going to choose to use each of these so you can see how it works. So once you click on smooth, this will pop right up. You just send that backward so you can see that it has an effect that like glows from the center. I'm going to delete that so you can see the next one, which is sunlight. Send that backward. So that's how it would look. And lastly, we can use Vivo. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You can also choose to resize or rotate these effects if you want to, but I would like to use the smooth one. Send it backward. Okay. Lastly, we have the templates option. Now, under templates, we have two basic options for you to choose from. The first one is a blank template. If you wish to start it from scratch and this default free template that we have, you can use these two. This default template is very editable, so you can just click on that and edit whatever you want in it. It's very easy to use. We also have a lot more templates that you can use. Very cool and professional looking already, so you don't have to start from scratch. And you will have access to these templates if you upgrade. Just click on this upgrade button right here to access all these 50 templates. Okay, so that's pretty much all the basic editing functionalities of Instant Header Presets. You can choose to preview your work through this preview button right here. And you can also choose to save and save as your work. Just type in your file name. Okay. And then just hit on save and it will save in your dashboard. If you save as, that's going to be a new file. Now, once you're done and you would want to upload the image on your website or your Facebook or whatever, you just have to download the image by clicking this download, blue download button, and save it to your computer. Hit save. And that's it.